happening, my lovely, wonderful people. Igbo man must taste presidency before you can tamper with the political arrangement according to Vista. He said, no, this arrangement that they say they want to do. In case you have not heard, the North is saying they will not allow, you know, they will not allow for, uh, you know, uh, power rotation going forward that um, everybody must be able to look at things differently, that they will not allow for any form of power rotation any further. So these are part of the things that are going on. Before you could know, our brother don't respond and say, no, that tricks and that lie must come to an end. They will not allow it to continue, not anymore. They will not allow it to continue anymore, that we must get to the very bottom of it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Igbo man must taste the presidency before we can tamper with the political arrangements. No way. Honorable Jonathan Vista, the APC chief team in Niger State and former commissioner for information, culture and terrorism, has issued a warning to Northern Social Political Group that is pushing for abortion of the Nigerian rotation presidency system. Their suggestion was re, re bluffed by Jonathan Blister, who says it is not acceptable. Jonathan said it is, un, it is unbelievable that the North is now pulling, pu, pushing for stopping the power rotation from between North and South. This is absurd. When an Igbo man has not had an opportunity, the rotation model that has been in place since 1999 under each area had a fair share of leadership. He emphasized that after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the Southwest complete his two tenure in office, the presidency should go to the Southeast. You can't do that. Addressing selected journalists in Mina, Jonathan reiterated that significance of honoring the current rotational system must be put in place if we want fairness. Enough of oppressing people in this land. He criticized the Northern Youth Group who are calling for the end of the rotational system, particularly the Arewa. He said at the wake of power, when the North had it and Buhari did nothing for eight years, nobody said anything. Now they are stressing. Tinubu has only been there for nine months. Buhari was there for eight years. None of them spoke. I'm really surprised the way the North is going about things. The Arewa New Agenda, ANA, a group based in the northern Nigeria, recently expressed its, op its opposition to the rotational presidency during a gathering in Yola, Adamawa State. Presi the NAN president, Senator Hamed ba Abu Bakr, criticized Tinubu's remark about it being its turn to be president for the 20, for during the 2023 election. Jonathan said, whether Tinubu said what he said and you humor him and today is the president, it makes no meaning. The Southeast must also experience the presidency before we abolish the rotation and say whoever comes in should come in and become Nigerian's president. Why are we being unfair to the Southeast? Because we feel we are from the North and we have more states this is unfair. So this is a northerner who is standing up for the South is saying enough is enough. He will not allow, you know, other people to be oppressed because he, he is from the North. Then he should just accept it hook, like and sinker. He said that is not the way to go. That is not going to stand there and allow other people to be oppressed. You know, he said, so if Arewa is saying or the North is saying, let us end rotational presidency, he has no problem with it. But his main, his main issue right now is that everybody must be able to say the truth. What we are experiencing is the North knows that they've been unfair, totally, completely unfair with the Southeast. He said, so if they want rotation of presidency to end, let's do right by the Southeast. Let's start by doing right. By the time the Southeast has had a turn, Oh, yes, please, let's stop the rotation. Whoever likes to come out and, you know, and, you know, contest. And if you win, you become the president. But that we should not uh, do, we should not 
speak out, not acceptable at all, at all, at all. So that's exactly what is going on right now. And as you and I can see, you know, uh, this is a northern and who is, who is, who is telling off the north. Arewa, you know, youth came up and says, you know, it's about time that they stop this rotation, that Tinubu is not doing well. He said it was his turn, but he cannot see what his turn is all about or what he's doing, uh, that they want to ensure that, you know, they stop it so that, you know, whoever has the potential to lead should become the leader without it being that it's from the north or it's from the south. Well, we will see as the day proceeds because it's about time we begin to honestly, sincerely speak out to ensure that, you know, the right things are done. Nigeria will move forward. Nigeria will make progress only if and if we are, we are responsible and we are ready to, you know, hit the nail on the head and tell ourselves the truth without, you know, without any further ado. You know, trying to maneuver and, you know, pretend like these matters are not real. It, 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 we're not helping ourselves. We're not helping ourselves at all. Tinubu came and said it was his turn. Uh, he is now president, okay? Uh, whatever is happening, those who voted and those who did not vote, they have to swallow the hard pill and accept it. And this is what is happening. Now, the North is calling for stop of, to rotational presidency. You cannot say stop to rotational presidency when the South is, has not had a turn. It will be what we call unfairness. You know, you have two sons. You have done for one. And when it gets to the turn of the other, that's when you want to not put a new law in place. It's not fair. It's not correct. It should not be accepted. That is exactly what is going on now. So can you see that it's about time people begin to own up to responsibility and ensure that, you know, we, we take the bull by the horn. You know, uh, whatever is going on is a clear indication that we cannot continue like this. All of these people, all of these persons know that, you know, everything that is happening is showing us as a pointer to the fact that Nigeria needs to move forward and every one of us needs to do what is needed, what is right in order to change, okay, uh, what is happening right now. Well, please don't forget, you are important. We all have a part to play and we must speak out as it should, as we should in order to change the course of what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news remember you have a voice and so every one of us must do everything humanly speaking necessary to change the course of this nation and to bring us into where we need to be god bless bye for now